Football fans, this is the fifth quarter show featuring Coach John Olive and the Tullahoma Wildcats. Coach, a nice crisp night last night. Oh, it was a beautiful fall night, wasn't it? It was, it was. Uh, kind of the weather we remember when we were growing up playing football. That's correct. Uh, Coach, I, I guess the, the main thing is we were playing a team that was not very good. And you always have to worry about your your players being ready for a team like that. That's correct. You worry about playing down. Yes. And uh, winning ugly or whatever you want to call it. And uh, somehow or another, the Cats uh, didn't do that. Well, we talked to them during the week about that this is one of those games where uh, you are uh, just going to work and you got to give it an honest day's effort and um, told them if they could learn to do that in football games that they'll learn to do that for their employer sometime in the future in their life that when that employer is not around and that it just seems like a mundane job you don't only take your lunch box with you and you don't give an honest day's work that's, and that's what they did last night they I, gave that's a good analogy days. there that's a good analogy um, you know I always felt like games like this was a time to go out there and kind of stretch your stuff you know, right. Uh, let's break some long ones. Let's let's have a good time. Right. Uh, let's sell some product, and then we'll get into the game. Since 1917, Builder Supply has been the place to go for all your building materials. It's where the contractors have shopped for years. Builder Supply has quality gray seal paint, Carad Coat, Peachtree and Anderson windows and doors, vinyl replacement windows, General Shale brick, Lone Star masonry cement products, and Tamco roofing. Also, experienced salespeople are there to help you find the right products for your job. When you're ready to build, whether large or small, think Builder Supply. It's football time in Tennessee. Keith Barnett here with the Russell Barnett Automotive family where we're ready for another great season. The name you've trusted for over 30 years and home of the million warranty. Stop by one of our four locations and catch that next great deal. Russell Barnett Chrysler Dodge Jeep, Chevrolet GMC, Ford and Mercury in Winchester, and Russell Barnett Kia in Tullahoma. My question is, why buy anywhere else? Unlike all the rest, the Bank of Tullahoma will provide you with a different banking experience. 
We offer accounts that make banking simple and hassle-free with all the conveniences you want and need most. At Bank of Tullahoma, you can expect outstanding service from friends you know and trust. Call the Bank of Tullahoma, 931-393-2265 and experience the bank that is unlike all the rest. Clayton's has been Tullahoma's family shoe store for over 100 years with a reputation for fashion and personal service. And the tradition continues today. Stop by Clayton's and see our large selection of fine shoes. There we are, Coach. We are back, and our captains last night, number 32, Cody Farr, number 59, Ryan Poff, number 15, Joseph Burke, and number two, Jared Davis. And uh, Cody and Jared are two of the four permanent captains. And, and we might mention here that uh, it was senior night. It is senior night, and uh, seniors that play football, play in the band, cheerlead, dance team, and the ROTC 12th man. I think we're all recognized. Um, and so anyway, um, Warren County's gonna win the toss and defer to the second half. And we're gonna take the football, which is what we wanted to do to begin with, was take the football. And so uh, they will be kicking off to us as they defend the scoreboard end of the field. And uh, it's going to begin the fireworks as Montreal Berry is going to take this kickoff. They normally pooch kick it over to the right, uh, to their left, our right. And uh, you could see the kicker. He was looking over at the sideline because of the way we had aligned. Uh, what do you want me to do? And they decide to kick it right down the middle of the field and Montrell Berry's going to scoop it up and break it to his left there and he's got one man to beat now. And, and, and it's that's not beat. much of a contest. No. So we open up with a touchdown. And we score so quickly we got uh, offensive lineman that forgot to come on the field and it's not Christian Copion. He's just running out on the field because he realizes we need an offensive lineman. Uh, so uh, we end up having to take a five yard delay game penalty and Joseph Burke does get that one to go through. It's partially blocked there as uh, we were a little slow in getting the kick. I, you know, I don't understand that that took 15 seconds because he runs faster than that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, they open up in an uh, offense that looks similar to what you ran yeah. uh, once upon a time. And uh, anyway, uh, Quentin Kirby and Cody Farr, they're on that tackle uh, as they stay in this box look. Uh, you'll have to tell us what kind of offense that really is because I, it's know. A, uh, I know it's not a side saddle and I'm not sure it doesn't look like a true Notre Dame box to me. No, it doesn't. But uh, anyway. But it's similar to the Notre Dame box. Trey Burks on the punt return here is able to pick up a short gain after running about 70 yards. <laughs> and. Uh, I think that goes back to trying to have a good time making big plays yeah. instead of we pitch the ball to him here and he's out of gas. Uh, you can't really turn the corner. You'll watch him later on in the game. He'll turn the corner and make the first guy miss and so forth. We're going to come back and run a counter play right here with Montreal Berry. And we just don't, we don't block the right guy right there. If we block that guy right there, we've got a, a good good play. 
pick up a few yards, but uh, not as good as it should have been. Yeah, we got the lineman, but we didn't get that, that backer. Yep, outside backer. And uh, Shaquille Harris makes a great catch right there. Pick up the first down. And we're going to come back right here and run Trey Burks. And he's going to get a really good block right there by 72. Uh, Tim Lemon and by 14 right there, Shaquille Harris. And this time he's down uh, inside the 10-yard line. It'll be first and goal at the 8. And we're going to throw a smash route right here. And we hit Austin Creaseman. Uh, I was hoping he'd get it on into the end zone there, but uh, not able to get it in the end zone. And then this next play, uh, we just blow a blocking assignment. And we're going to let a linebacker come through Scott Clean. And we're actually going to lose yardage on this play. As, uh, nobody touched him. Nobody touches him. It was just uh, one lineman went one way, one lineman went the other way, instead of us going in the same direction together. And we're going to come back. We're going to hit Trey Burks here in the flats. And they do a good job of keeping him out of the end zone. I really thought if we got the ball to him in the flats that he would be able to get it to the end zone. And Jared Davis is on quarterback sneak it right here for the touchdown. And great surge there by Will Sharpton and Luke Frederick. And Joseph Burke puts it through this time without any problems. And we're up 14-0 halfway through the first quarter and uh, doing the things that we needed to do to get this game started correctly. <coughs> they do a good job here on this punt return. We don't, or kickoff return. We don't do a very good job of squeezing down to the ball there. Uh, had a couple of people get out of their lanes and some of that is because they're able to <coughs> block us out of those lanes, but other parts of it was we, we helped them out. So they've got the ball in great field position and have a second down and long, and they get a motion penalty, which is going to make it second down and longer. And they're going to run a sweep here, and Marcus White will make the tackle right where he's supposed to be. You know, Coach, it appears to me with that offense that they're running is what they're doing is they're uh, taking at least two people out of blocking assignments. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, they do a good job here completing the pass there out in the flats, but it's still going to be short, and it will leave them in a fourth down situation, and they choose to punt the football right there. And... Uh, Sometimes, you know, you punters think, they watch these guys on TV, think you're supposed to angle this or whatever. That'll kind of hurt his average, that one went seven yards. Yeah, right? you just need to punt it Yeah, when you're on the high school level. Uh, good cut there by Trey. And, you know, if he hadn't been out of gas on the first play of the game, that's probably the way the first play would have looked. Yeah. Uh, but he was out of gas on that first one. Come back here, and uh, they get us for being off sides, uh, the right side of the line. Uh, it's gonna, we're going to get that called on us twice last night. And we come back, uh, trying to run our option scheme there, and they had someone who got down low, and we trip over him. And then we're going to get a delay of game right here. This was just bad on my uh, We didn't get the play in there quick enough. Uh, we thought we could wigwag it in there fast enough, but we're not. And right as he snaps it, they start blowing the whistles. And so we'll come back right here and run the same play. And we're going to hit Shaquille Harris in the middle of the field. And we'll pick the first down right back up. So we got things rolling our way, and we're going to come back, run the option again, and this time Montreal Berry's going to find the seam and accelerate right there and score again. 
And so, if I remember right, with a minute something to go in the first quarter, we'll be up 21-0 as Joseph Burke puts it through. Coach, we've got to uh, we get to the playoffs and start playing good teams. We've got to eliminate those offsides, delay games, motion penalties. That's correct. Those five yards are killers. They will absolutely <coughs> like the harness. I believe that was um, Kaderi that made that tackle right there. Alex Kaderi, a uh, young sophomore. Cody Farr on that tackle. And now this is the offense we expected to see. Uh, a spread offense uh, where they're going to throw probably two out of three plays. Not quite two out of three, but close to two out of three. And uh, good pressure and Marcus White right where he needs to be. Their quarterback does a good job of not taking sacks and uh, he doesn't throw interceptions coming into our ball game. Uh, he had attempted in the last two games 72 passes and had no uh, interceptions out of those 72 passes and uh, was completing a good percentage of them. And we had 12 people on the field as we had uh, uh, an injury situation that we had replaced. And anyway, we end up with both of them back on the field there. And uh, so we lost some field position there, but it brings us to the end of the first quarter. And we are, we have done what we wanted to do, start off it and get control of the game quickly. Yeah. Uh, which goes back again to they were ready to play. Uh, I'm very happy with this team. They've done a great job and uh, have set themselves up here uh, to, to try to make a run here in the postseason. Okay, let's go to John Gray. All right, folks, here we are, and we got this Q water right here. We want to thank Rick Gerwey, as always, for being our water sponsor here at Channel 6 and on the John Ollie Fifth Quarter Show. When you need to hydrate and don't know what to do, jump in a bottle of Q. It'll take care of you, I guarantee you. You know, because just because it's getting cool weather, you still need to drink your water. It's good for you. Georgia Aqua for Water from Mid-South Distributing. Get you a bottle of Q. Rick Gerwey, thank you and your family for what you do for all of us in this community. You know, when somebody else in this community has got a little help for you here, it's uh, if the clock's ticking and your team's ahead, like we were last night, to stay in control of the game, you need an option offense. It's time for a Send Federal Credit Union's option. Giving your kid, kids access to a youth account from a Send Federal Credit Union gives them financial options. It's never too early to learn how to spend and save your money wisely. And a Discover, Venture, or Go Youth account from Ascend can help. For information, visit AscendFCU.org or call 800-342-3086. Ascend Federal Credit Union, raising possibilities. Ascend is federally insured by the NCUA and membership is limited. Thank you, Ascend Federal Credit Union, for being with us on this John Olive football show and the Tullahoma High School football program. You know, and sometimes, folks, if you have a problem around the house, because just like the other day, hail damage. We had a hail storm like, you, like we've never seen around here. If you get beat up and you have problems like that, hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, water damage, there's one place to call, and that's call Apex Restoration at 866-461-5508 and talk to Greg Driver or Chuck Lynch. Those guys will take care of you. They are tied in with a, a company called DKI or a group called DKI, which is North America's largest property damage restoration contracting organization. So that ought to tell you something. 
They know how to get it done. And what they can do for you is they can take care of you in emergency times. They have water damage mitigation, mold remediation, environmental services. Uh, they take care of fire and smoke damage, contents restoration, complete reconstruction, and a catastrophe response team. So, you know, these are local guys taking care of local folks with the power of a national organization behind them. If you need professionals doing your work in time of need, give them a call. 866-461-5508, Apex Restoration. And we'll be right back after a few more messages. The highest standard of excellence requires dedication and commitment. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of excellence in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. Since 1985, Life Communications and Security has been a household word in Middle Tennessee, mainly because people trust and believe in life communications and securities in the work they do. Led by owner Jeff Wooten, LCS has continued to grow and earn the support of their many customers. When we ask businesses and homeowners who they put their trust in, these are the answers we receive. Tommy Anderton with Traders Bank. When it comes to security and communications, we call life communication. For all of our security needs at First Vision Bank, we call life communication. Life communications is a small investment for us to take care of our major investment. Knowing this, why would you ever call anyone else for your security or communications needs? Call Life Communications and Security at 931-455-9016 or 1-866-535-9016. That's Life Communications and Security. It's Truck Month at Stan McNabb and new trucks are arriving daily. All trucks available with 0% financing like this new Chevy Silverado. 0% financing plus $5,000 off during Truck Month at Stan McNabb. Plus, every new truck is on sale this month. When nothing but a truck will do, get to Stan McNabb today, the area's largest truck dealer. 2000 North Jackson Street in Tullahoma, under the big American flag. Coach, we're back. Uh, start of the second quarter here. Starting the second quarter off here now, and um, Jared Davis is on a take the football off our little option game and go 78 yards, I guess, for a touchdown. And uh, and this time it doesn't get called back doesn't because called the official back. blew the whistle too That's quick. Correct. Last year, he had a long run called back that uh, in a huge game. The, the official lost the ball and thought the running, running back, back had it and got tackled. Exactly right. and, you know, uh, these guys have done a great job uh, at carrying out their fakes and so forth. And uh, we'll miss having Jared back there next year. We're gonna have to find us some young men that'll step up and study and figure out how to keep this thing going. Well, it, he's a good athlete and he's very intelligent and pretty easy to coach. That's correct. Uh, Warren County right here picks up their first first down of the game as Ryan Lawson makes the stop there and uh, come back. They're going to throw a screen here. Cody Farr makes the tackle after a gain of about seven or eight. Uh, they're going to run their own speed sweep here. And Cody Farr makes a great tackle there. Makes it third and two. And if I remember right, they're going to run their little read uh, option play back into the split side there. And the running back's able to get the first down. And they bring it back this way again, and Cody Farr flying across the field, making the tackle there. Cody Farr looked a lot like his old self right there just then. Uh, 
explode into the football. Third down and one as Marcus White makes the tackle there on, after a sh short gain on the pass. And they're trying to run it there, and I believe that was Luke Frederick that blew the play up. Alan Starks uh, and Joe London are going to be there. It's fourth down and two. And again, uh, good job there by the defense. Somebody got into his legs. He was able to get the first down, but it was good defense here. Alan Starks realizes that the screen's on again and st stops. Quarterback throws it away, so you get penalized for that. And uh, just puts him in a long yarded situation there. Austin Creaseman does a great job not letting the runner get outside him, turns it back into his teammates. Uh, good defense there. Let's say we used to call it containment. That's correct. And uh, containing the football is a lot harder today than what it was when I played. Uh, they're trying to drop it off there to the swing man and makes it to be fourth down again and Trey Burks, good job on getting the fair catch. So our offense takes back over again and uh, we hit Shaquille here on a little swing. Uh, don't quite get number one block, so we pick up about four or five yards on it instead of having a bigger play. Come back and run Trey here and he's on pick up first down here. And we're back down in their territory. And so anyway, uh, we go to a different offensive set because we're getting ready to put Shaquille Harris at quarterback. And uh, we've got a second down and three right here. And uh, we did a great job last week of hitting it on up in there. And this time we don't. We should have cut back to the left right there. When Montrell sees this on video, he'll see that he should have made that cut. And if he makes the cut, then uh, we get a first down and probably plus some. And, uh, but I wanted to start Shaquille underneath the center uh, just to try to get him used to it. And we get a delay of game there just because Shaquille's not used to having to look at a play clock or anything. Uh, Sam Toms is our normal backup quarterback, and Sam got hurt in a JV game Monday night. And because of that, uh, Shaquille Harris became our backup quarterback. As with I very did, little practice. With very little practice. I just felt like he needed to do that from the standpoint. Uh, I didn't feel like our sophomores were ready to be put in under the gun if they had to, and Shaquille's a good athlete. Um, they stop us there on the fourth down play. Um, and so good defense by Warren County there. And when we come back in the second half, we'll put Shaquille in the shotgun a little bit. And uh, it's just a lot more difficult. Uh, I figured he'd be nervous enough as it is uh, trying to catch that ball. And. Uh, then do the things that you have to do. Uh, good catch by their man right there. Uh, he outbattled us for the football, and so they pick up a first down and get good field position against us. But uh, defense is swarming pretty good there, and as one of our coaches like to say, good things happen when you swarm. We get a face mask penalty though right there. Uh, and they call it a personal foul instead of incidental. But they fumble the football there, and Dalton Cox, junior linebacker, is going to come up with the football. And so we just really want to run the clock out. And we start off running Trey Burks right there, and he picks up two or three yards. And we're going to come back, and again, we try to make a big play when it's not a big play there. And Number one, we don't run from the eye very much. Coach Shaw and I were talking last night that they just don't see the natural cutback. Yeah. And um, 
Warren County called timeout to stop the clock, so we decided we needed to try to go for a first down. So told Shaquille just drop back and throw it to Austin Creaseman, and he does that. And Austin does a good job of catching the football, and we get a first down, and then we let the clock run out, and we'll go to halftime, 28-0. Good first half. Good first half for us. I see. We we need one more touchdown, and then and then the clock the really starts clock rolling. rolling. Okay, let's uh, go to commercial break, and then we'll have a halftime show, and we'll be back uh, in just a few minutes. A couple of minutes. Morning Point Assisted Living Residence is not a home. It's simply home for many seniors who just need a little help now and then. Morning Point offers private apartments for your independence. Come and go with the comfort of knowing that Morning Point is always there with qualified health care professionals to assist with medications, transportation, and your well-being. Enjoy restaurant-style dining at every meal. Choose participation from a wide variety of activities. Families take comfort in knowing their loved one lives in a safe place with all the benefits of home, plus a little assistance. Morning Point. Life continued. Mother Nature can be a tad unpredictable. That kind of disposition doesn't sit well with a train. Its forecast is as rock solid as solid rock. Nothing but perfect temps housewide. Buy a qualifying train system between August 16th and October 31st and get up to a $1,000 instant rebate. Also ask us about train financing. You may qualify for up to $500 in tax credits. Call Stroop's Accurate Refrigeration at 931-455-8757 for complete program eligibility details and restrictions. It's hard to stop a train. To be a star athlete, you have to use the right equipment. Anything short of that is, well, ineffective. Make Top Rehab the best tool in your bag, especially after you've had a sports-related injury. Yes, you may get tired. Yes, you may get uncomfortable. But when the final rehab whistle blows, you get results. Top Rehab, the right equipment for your star athletes. Bank. The convenience of five locations near you. 
2695 Deckard Boulevard, Winchester. 1207 Hillsborough Boulevard, Manchester. 1602 North Main Street, Shelbyville. 412 West Lincoln Street, Tullahoma. 120 North Jackson Street, Tullahoma. Why? Traders Bank. The service of 61 friendly, knowledgeable employees meeting your banking needs. We're Traders Bank in Winchester. Come and see us. We're Traders Bank in Manchester. Come and see us. We're Traders Bank in Shelbyville. Come and see us. We're Traders Bank on West Lincoln Street in Tallahoma. Come and see us. We're Traders Bank. Come and see us. Why? Traders Bank. The stability of 122 years, locally owned and operated, banking under the same name. Traders Bank. Why Traders Bank? Because you're welcome here. Traders Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. This is Ken Huddleston, and this is KK's Music Loans and Jewelry. This is his son, Zach Huddleston, and this is his dad, Ken Sr., better known as KK. You never know what's coming through the door next. A full-size Kennedy machinist toolbox. A two and a half carat brilliant cut diamond surrounded by 70 points of baguette and round cut diamonds. If you're looking for one of a kind merchandise, come by KK's Music Loans and Jewelry in Tullahoma and Manchester. I'm Lori Thompson. I'm Mike Thompson and Lori and I have bought Thompson Ford back in Tullahoma, Tennessee on Highway 55 selling new Fords and used vehicles and plenty of service in the service department. You guys have supported us 100%. We appreciate everything you've done for us. Look forward to 10 years worth of support. We can't wait to support you guys again. Give it back to the communities of Thompson Ford Way. Come see Mike and Lori. Thank you very much. Thank you for blessing us. God bless America. Uh, they deferred. They deferred, so they'll be their choice, and they'll choose to take the football. And we'll choose to defend the scoreboard. A lot goes into deciding whether to play defense or offense, coin toss. And you know, if your offense is struggling, you most of the time want to go on defense first, hit the first part of a ball game. If your offense is really good, I know last year we got to where we wanted the ball most of the time. Uh, last week we wanted the ball just because that had been our theme all week long. Uh, you know, get I, something going early. That's correct. In this ball game, we wanted the ball first. Most of the time in real big ball games, I like to defer just because I feel like it gives you time to settle in a little bit. Yeah. Good job there by Zane Price on the kickoff, T coverage team, and then defense is playing well right here, bottling them up. And not letting them get anything going coming out of the... You know, the secondary coverage has been pretty good this year. They've played well. I've been very proud, and the linebackers have done a good job in doing their coverage. You know, we gave up a couple of big plays on the year, but not very many big plays not on many. the year. We open up running the speed sweep here with Shaquille Harris, and he's going to pick up good yardage, pick up a first down. Shifty runner. One of these little body guys that we have. We're going to Run the same thing the opposite direction, but uh, the defensive tackle has uh, gotten through there, so Jared just pulls it and picks up five or six yards right up the middle. And now we're going to go back running our option, and you see Trey Burks burst through there and gets the touchdown, and we've started the second half just like we needed to. Three downs and out, and then the offense come out and score. And Joseph Burke will put it through to make it 35-0, and that will start the clock continuously running, which will make this game tremendously shorter. Yes. But as some people in the stands told me last night, not short enough. Uh, 
it was getting a little chilly. Uh, it stays a lot warmer uh, whenever there's excitement going on and one play after another, you know. Sam Epley is going to finally catch him there and grab those legs. Good little football player. Uh, young man will be a good one. Yeah, the, the, you know, football in Warren County used to be pretty good. Uh, it's been off the last few years. Uh, but this new coach, uh, he sort of cleaned house from what I understand. Uh, it's a completely starting over situation. A lot of them didn't want to pay the price, and they're gone. Uh, Coach Johnson, a former Alabama player, played with Antonio London. And, of course, Eugene London was the clock operator last night. Yeah. And uh, so during the pregame meeting, uh, Eugene introduces himself, and Coach Johnson puts it together that that's Antonio's father. <laughs> At who he played football with at the University of Alabama as they were both on that national championship team. Yeah. And so anyway, uh, Coach Johnson's a fine man and uh, you, you I, play I wish for a national the best champion. trying to get this program going. You play for a national champion, you know what price you got to pay. That's correct. And Allen starts there, Cody Farr making the tackle, and that'll turn the ball back over to us. And we're gonna run the speed sweep again. This time it's Zane Price, and Zane's gonna pick up good yardage there. And we come back running our option play and. Montrell Berry's going to pick up good yards. And basically our plan was when we got across the 50-yard line, uh, we left Jared in there so that we could still wig-wag our calls in, but we put Shaquille at uh, quarterback. And he dropped that first snap, but he knows what to do when he picks it up. And he takes off running and picks up a first down. And if you were scouting us, uh, every play is going away from Jared Davis out there wide receiver. <laughs> That's all you'd have to know is the ball's not going back over there where the big guy's standing. Yeah. Uh, not, all, not intentionally, anyway. And here's Montrell Berry. Uh, breaks out of there and almost breaks it there. Picks up another first down. Montrell's going to pick up good yardage again, down to about the five-yard line. And uh, we might get a, we're about to get a delay of game there. And so, anyway, I'm yelling timeout, and Shaquille finally looks up and starts calling timeout, which is good. He needed to see that, and now he's going to do a little quarterback keeper there. And, he finds a gap. That play is designed to run outside, but he finds a gap and breaks it up in there and scores the touchdown. And Joseph Burke will come on and, you know, uh, ball game's completely in our control, and I really didn't care whether we scored that one again or not. I just, we wanted to get a series of, of Shaquille running at quarterback out of the gun uh, and he did a good job. Because you never know when you might have to have him actually play that position. Um, and again, there's no give in the Warren County kids. No. Uh, they're still battling and, you know. They're, they're, the, they're at a little disadvantage speed-wise. Speed-wise, they have they don't have enough team speed no. to be a I mean, good defensive team. They've got two or three boys that can run, but uh, we but got not a whole, we got a whole team full of compared runners. compared to them. Yeah, and so it's a tough situation, and um, you know, <coughs> uh, we've been there a couple of years, and we may be there again someday. 
Coach, this would be a good time for us to thank all the people that uh, make this show possible. Uh, you know, people got to be there at the game to film it. That's correct. Uh, no matter what the weather, uh, it, there's cameramen here, uh, studio, and of course all of our sponsors. Uh, there's just a lot of people that we owe a lot of thank yous to and a lot of gratitude. Uh, Bob Lemoyer has done our video for us for years now and uh, he's more than a video person. Uh, it's just like, uh, I believe it was last week, uh, since one of our coaches doesn't believe in cell phones and <laughs> I knew he was sitting over in Manchester waiting on a video swap, uh, Bob Lemoyer became the Pony Express to go tell him it's not coming, come on back home. Yeah. And so anyway, it, there are so many people that do so many good things. Oh, P Head Productions here, everybody that works for them uh, for many, many years have gone out of their way to make this show become a success. And uh, it's been a lot of fun for us. It has. 19 years of it. Pretty good while. Pretty good while considering that uh, if I remember right, our first studio was up there in City Hall and we had these posters that we would hold up for yeah, commercials it's, it's for pretty the sponsor. Crude, <laughs> <laughs> Looked like Kaz Walker. <laughs> Speaking of sponsors, let's sell some product. The Gondola, located at 412 East Carroll Street, is Telahoma's oldest pizza, pasta, and steakhouse, featuring all kinds of pizzas, calzones, pastas, and steaks, chicken, pork, sandwiches, and seafood. Check out their daily specials on Facebook. And don't forget that on Saturdays, there's ribs and smoked Boston butts. Add a great variety of appetizers and desserts, and come on in, y'all. Gondola has it all. For carry out, call 455 9738. That's the Gondola Steakhouse, located at 412 East Carroll Street in Tullahoma. Hi, I'm Jim Woodard of Woodard's Diamond Showroom. Antwerp, Belgium is the diamond capital of the world. As a member of IJO, Woodard's has a rare opportunity to buy directly from the Antwerp Diamond Cutter. Woodard's will be leaving for Antwerp shortly to handpick diamonds at substantial savings. So stop in now and have Woodard's choose the perfect diamond for you, directly from Antwerp, Belgium, only at Woodard's Diamond Showroom inside Northgate Mall of Tullahoma. Are your teeth dull, chipped, stained, or crooked? If so, call the dental practice of Dr. Mike Long. For a wider, brighter, more attractive smile, Dr. Long offers cosmetic dentistry at its best through whitening, bonding, and veneers. Dr. Long also uses laser technology, eliminating anesthesia and drilling. When you are ready to enhance your smile, call Dr. Mike Long, family practice dentistry for 29 years. They say you see the world different. It's like I see the miracle of life in even the smallest things. And that's what it feels like to survive. St. Thomas Heart performs the most heart procedures in the state. That experience means more survivors. For more than 40 years, they have been leaders in cardiac care. That's experience you can count on because you want to survive. Fourth quarter opens up. Warren County's got the football and David Young and Shamar Smith come up to make the stop. Make it second and long. And they were trying to hit a crossing route there and had two guys in the same area. Uh, I think he was supposed to hit that crossing route a little earlier. So it's third and long and Dalton Cox going to get the sack. And so now it's fourth and really long. And uh, they throw it deep there and Brandon Coke's in good position. So we'll take over the football and Matthew Carter's now at quarterback and we're gonna let Sam Epley get a couple of reps here just as a senior. Uh, Sam starts for us on defense and Matt keeps it there. He's going to give it to Sam this time right here. And 
just a little jitterbug there. Keeps that, those legs moving and driving. So now it's third down, about six. And if I remember right, Matthew will keep this one as we're just basically running the same play over and over and over. And Matt doesn't quite get a first down, so we'll run a quarterback sneak here, and he'll get the first down on the quarterback sneak. And we'll run a couple more plays here. Well, we might explain to the people about the clock uh, situation. It's, um, it's, it's called the mercy rule, and when you get ahead 35 points, uh, the clock does not stop. Right. It doesn't stop at all for anything. Out of bounds, incomplete pass, or any of that stuff. It just keeps running. And so anyway, it doesn't take long for it to to tick off and uh, we've got Marcella Scott in there now uh, running back, running it there a couple of times and Matthew Carter quarterback and we got our other young quarterback back this week uh, he'll come on here in just a second Aaron Banks and this may be Aaron right here and he's going to give the ball there to Marcella Scott on a 4th and 10 and so they hold us and the ball goes over and uh, we're on play with 10 this time on defense. And we got him right there, just tackling. We got to get him tackled. <laughs> and we're reaching and grabbing instead of just tackling. And Justin Brown comes flying back in there and does make the tackle. They're going to try to throw that screen again. And uh, Caleb Olive going to make the tackle there. And those, those are the right plays to run against a, a team with our speed. you got to do something to slow down that rush. That's correct. The screen is ideal for that. You had um, Hayden Hines and Brandon Coke on that tackle. And uh, we miss him there and Caleb Olive trips him up again. So they're driving down into our territory, and quarterback keeps it off their read play, and Justin Brown and Marcella Scott make the tackle. And the clock's just rolling on them, though, big time. And even during this penalty here, the clock just keeps right on rolling. And uh, couldn't get him there in the backfield, but we do get him before he gets to the goal line, as that was uh, Alex Kaderi. And they took a timeout, if I remember right, to stop the clock. That's the only way you can stop it right now. And uh, good job right there, Philip Lett. Michael and uh, they're gonna try to throw it deep here into the corner of the end zone. Shamar Smith back there in coverage, and then uh, we'll take over. Brings us to the end of the game. 42 to nothing. Cats have now won seven ball games. Seven and two. Seven and two, and uh, got one more regular season game to play. And uh, they're signaling me that we've got. Uh, we mentioned earlier about it being senior night. Uh, we're going to show that that portion where they they get introduced with their parents uh, after you and I get out of here. Very good. Okay. The next order of business is our players of the game. Our offensive player of the game, and we could have picked several different ones, but Montreal Barry ran the opening kickoff back, and that kind of set the stage. He had an uh, opening kickoff back, and he had another touchdown that he ran, and I don't know what his final yardage was, but he probably averaged seven, eight, nine yards a, a carry. And Trey, likewise, yeah. and Jared Davis uh, had a big ball game as well. Shaquille and, got a touchdown. Yeah, you know. So, good yeah. night. It, it was a good night for everybody. Uh, our defensive player of the week is number 32, Cody Farr. And Cody, and he uh, was everywhere. He was everywhere. He was moving like he has in the past. And he's played all season. He missed the first couple of games, but he's played all season with a nagging injury that um, 
and of course our defense is set up for our linebackers to be really active and that's uh, correct so they get an opportunity to be defensive players of the week and and he lived up to it last he lived night. up to it last night he, it was a good ball game for cody and then our unsung hero is uh coach's pick he says tim lemons uh, made a lot of good blocks. He made some really good blocks. I know on uh, two of the touchdown runs, he's making the block that, that sets it up. And, uh, you know, and of course, all these guys that had such a great night offensively, they'd probably say pick any of the five up there yeah. because they were and, making and, some holes. And them. we always enjoy picking some linemen because they don't get much recognition. That's correct. And uh, as a former running back, I know how important they are. As we say, all running backs look the same when there's no blocking. That's right. When there's no place to run, they all look the same. That's, that's a fact. Okay, we'll replay this uh, tonight at uh, 6.30 or so, something like that. 8.30. 8.30. Oh, be past my bedtime. <laughs> uh, and tomorrow at 3. Uh, see you next week. Jared Davis, son of Gwen and Jerry Davis. <laughs> Ryan Lawson, son of Holly and Mike Lawson. Jesse Haywood, son of Wendy and Troy Haywood. Austin Creesman, son of Sherry and Joe Barstead and Ron Creesman. Shaquille Harris, son of Jeanette Harris and Daryl Crutcher. Joseph Burke, son of Maureen Burke and Russ Burke. Sam Epley, son of Sylvia and Scott Epley. Marcus White, son of Michelle White and grandson of Betty White. Montrell Berry, son of Tanya and Steve Berry. Cody Farr, son of Myra and Walt Farr. Ferris, son of and Greg Ferris. David Young, son of Katie and Willie Young. Kirby, son of Denise, Al Pegram, and Ken Kirby.
Will Sharton and senior band member Alex Sharton, sons of Kelly Sharton, grandsons of Maurice and Margaret Hale. Philip Lett, son of Deborah and Phil Lett. Ryan Poff, son of Lynn and Richard Poff. Luke Frederick, son of Stacy and Mike Frederick. <laughs> Alan Starks, son of Audrey and Terrell Starks. Statisticians, Dalton Brown, son of Sonia and Jason Brown. <laughs> Elliot Mullins, son of Robert and Kevin Mullins. Robin and Kevin Mullins. Student trainer, Brooklyn Bowen, daughter of Tina Bowen and Robert Bowen. Your, cheer, your senior cheerleaders, Caitlin Bishop, daughter of Barry Bishop. Lizzie McChesney, daughter of Jane and Morgan McChesney. Lauren Moore, daughter of Jeannie and Daryl Moore. Daughter of Karen and Jeremiah Fitz. <laughs> Bethany Welch, daughter of Brenda and Stan Welch. Scott Brandy Panner, son of Terry and Brad Panner. The dance team senior, Melena Sanders, daughter of Elizabeth and retired captain Richard Sanders. Senior band members, Gina Ann Anderson, daughter of Edward, Eric Edward Anderson. Jacob Askren, son of Kevin and Carrie Askren.
Jared Carpenter, son of Tom and Julie Carpenter. Sammy Davenport, daughter of Todd and Debbie Davenport. Megan Brooke Dixon, daughter of Rebecca Sandridge.